Hi guys, welcome back to another reaction video and thoughts here on Our Eyes Your Eyes. I'm ready to watch episode 5 of season 2 of A Two Year Eternity, Fumetsu no Anatae. But before starting this video, I just want to remind you to subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell, leave a like to support me, and feel free to join me till the end of this amazing season 2 that started, uh, waiting for season 3 that it's coming later. <laughs> Um, in the previous episode, we saw that Bon and Fushi are starting getting uh, closer and at the same time uh, we understood that Fushi is uh, starting asking himself uh, some questions regarding friends, lovers and whatsoever. So let's see what's going to happen today. Are you ready to join me with these? Check it out. Okay. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but he is spreading knowledge uh, anyway. My no poor. Oh no. Poor Todo. Oh no, that was rude. Okay. Maybe loyalty, no. <laughs> okay, but this helped him to stop being a chair. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, no. I think if she helped you instead. That's a. Hey, what? Why she came? <laughs> How can you hide uh, throughout all that time? Oh no! Ah, uh -huh, because he's he is uh, talking uh, through. Eh, uh, see? Mm -hmm. So he really loves him. Eh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, everyone can love others without explaining it or without uh, being understood. Oh yes, it's really painful. Yes. <laughs> it's like a mission. You don't know if you will fail or if you will gain. Wow, but I admire Bon for what he is doing. Yeah, that's true. He said it even in the previous episode that he can't do it yet. Yeah. Hey, in fact, uh, I was about to say that he can create something that it's not a human, but... Uh... Oh, yes. <laughs> but see, Bon found a way 
for Fushi not to feel uncomfortable in that moment. Exactly. Oh no. He could see that. See? That's what I told you. I think. I think that Bond can see the presence of the knockers. I mean, he can sense it. Yeah. Uh, tell it, Fushi! He should repeat what the creator is saying, actually. No! Okay, 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 okay. It's going to explode. Yeah. Come on, you have to attack! You have to kill it! Don't waste the time, you should kill that! But they didn't kill the the knocker that that was there. No, be careful because you didn't kill it. Uh. Oh no! See, he can't recognize his comrades even if uh, they all have uh, the. You, I mean, the, the armor, so he cares about the others. No, he changed the chair, but he can't create a chair. I mean, Bushy should create a chair for him. Yes, I think so. It's not true that he doesn't care about others. Oh, <laughs> I mean. I don't think that he cares about the materialistic things all. I think that he was paying attention on materialistic things because no one else wanted to talk to him properly because he was special, you know. But he can't cure, I mean... Uh, but he can't do that. Oh no, they are coming? Or was she attacked by knockers? Oh no, please! That's a trauma for Fushi when he hears, uh, I don't want to die. I mean, that's the worst thing that he could approach. But at the same time, he can't escape forever. Yeah, Machi. I think that one day it will happen. <laughs> yeah. And he saw her already. 
I like how boys are talking to Fushi, let me tell you. No, the girl died. He can't do that. Mm. No, he can't produce life. Not yet. And now he's a part of a Fushi too. Man, no. That's so sad. No, he's not. No, is it something that he could have sensed? But he could have sensed something. What the F so so Fushi made it? Oh my! So Fushi could. Hey, in fact, she's not there. <gasps> he could do that, and he can see the creator. I thought that he couldn't see him, but he could sense uh, that the knockers were coming, but he can see the creator. No, you can't. I think that he's going to stop you. Uh, he doesn't want to tell him also because he doesn't want to lose the full shit, I guess. Uh, Um, and uh, you, you, you can't go over there, otherwise the Fushi is realizing that. <laughs> what, what do we have to do now? To tell him or not? Uh, and the creator knew that he could do that, but he didn't uh, tell the Fushi. No. Not yet, though. Uh, <laughs> That's what I was saying in the previous episode. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, don't do that. Bon. Don't say something like this. You care about the Fushi. Can you imagine if one day he is going to discover that? And now you have to find the body first. Uh, exactly, he has to find the body first and then he can revive it. Uh, 
Can you imagine if he's going back uh, to find the, the bodies? Uh, but he can't, uh, actually. So many years passed there. Exactly, that's why the creator didn't want to tell Fushi about this, because Fushi has to realize it by himself. And I already imagine how. Uh, he is becoming the friend of a Todo. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, even experiencing it to be a girl that he... Oh my, no, please. Uh... But that's a Tonari's book. Uh, that's a Tonari's book, right? Ah, uh, no, okay. But he was searching for Tonari's book. <laughs> ah, no, it's not that. Uh, uh, sorry, I made a mistake. Uh. No. Okay, he's already experiencing some attachment. Uh. Oh, no! With an adult. Hmm. Huh? Todo is a girl. She's in love with the boy. But, but, I mean, uh, yeah, but that's disgusting, you know? And I don't think that he likes her. He already said that you're not my type, but maybe because uh, he thought that he was a man, I mean, he was a boy. Don't tell me that she also. I mean, that Fushi. Uh. Exactly. But you can feel affection for it, but well, it's different. Uh.
Yeah. I think so. Oh, oh. No, come on, Bon. You have to think about. Uh, I mean, I think Bon is uh, going through this uh, thing. I mean, to change from his goal to what he really wants to do. Uh, what kind of thing? No, what are you doing, Bo? Ah, okay. <gasps> Don't tell me that he... He lied. Ah, okay, now he was talking too much. Yeah, I thought that he was talking to the doll by saying that she was lucky because he also loved, loves Fuji. Oh my, he's going to declare. What the ever? Oh my! Okay guys, I have so many things to say about this episode. I start immediately by saying that yeah, Fushi can revive people who died. And this is something that I didn't believe that it was possible until in this episode we see that he could recover this Princess Anna and he is not even noticing uh, that he did that. And I think at this point, as much as I was uh, saying during the reaction, uh, that Fushi's creator is not uh, saying anything about uh, Fushi's abilities uh, throughout the time. Uh, he already knows what Fushi can do, but the problem uh, is that he has to figure it out by himself uh, without being uh, told. Uh, otherwise, uh, things would have gone differently. I think that there are moments in which you do things step by step and by doing the things step by step you realize what you can do, what you can't do. It's like uh, as if Fushi now is knowing more about himself and his abilities, what he can do and what he can't. So it's just like a psychological analysis uh, that he is confronting uh, all the times, the more he's going ahead with his feelings. Uh, in uh, the first season, uh, he was uh, focusing more about uh, his ability to create things, but now we are focusing more on his feelings uh, that are something that he can't touch and he can't uh, reproduce, but he it's like more an internal journey in this second season, that's what I felt. Yeah, it's connected to what he can create, like in the case of uh, the way in which he can revive others, but it's more an internal process of uh, how he's exploring feelings. Because in the first season he was confronting suffering, pain, and that's why when now he's confronting love and these mixed feelings that he can't uh, uh, understand still. He is asking, uh, um, am I going to feel pain uh, when I love someone? Uh, yeah, the answer is yes, <laughs> because uh, when you love a person, nothing is guaranteed uh, that everything will go well all the time. So there are even uh, painful moments uh, that you have to surpass uh, in order to regain uh, those uh, happy moments, uh, if you can. <laughs> Otherwise, it's better if you uh, step away and you try to find happiness somewhere else, but even in that case, you feel pain. So, of course, he's going to feel pain if he's going to lose that lover or if uh, there are moments in which uh, you can't understand your lover. But at the same time, Fushi was afraid to know if he was feeling pain because this time is different. I mean, he is trying to get in touch with something that usually should be positive or should be something that makes you happy. And that's why he feels confused about that. 
But at the same time, the creator of Fushi wants him to feel everything in the moment, so then he can realize other aspects of his abilities. Maybe if he's going to discover that he can revive human beings, that will make him feel really happy because he is getting in touch with a new ability. But if the creator is going to tell him from the beginning that he can revive human beings, he couldn't experience the pain of losing them. Do you understand what I mean? He needs to confront this pain and then to discover that maybe there is a possibility to let them revive, to let them being alive. I think that if we would have had from the beginning all the experiences, all the maturity since we were born, we would have not been the same. Everything was already guaranteed. Everything was already sure. And I think that life uh, would have been uh, so different for all of us. The greatness of this story is uh, to let you understand that in order to be or to feel complete, uh, the more you, ex you experience uh, things, the more you will reach that level. And it's also good that you don't have everything from the beginning because you, the way you are, your personality can be modified based on the events you're going to live. And that's what's happening to Fushi, even if he is eternal. I really believe that he has the possibility to experience all these unknown things that make him become a human. And that's why maybe he is not eternal as he thinks. Yeah, that's another thing that creator didn't tell him, I guess. I think that he is a mortal being, even if he has the possibility to, to extend his life and to live longer, that doesn't mean that he is eternal. That's why I'm saying that I'm convinced that later in the future, the creator will let him be free. That means he will let him die. So he will experience sooner or later the fact that he is going to grow older and he can't uh, go back as before. So each step that he's taking is helping him. And that's why in the previous episode I was telling you, are we during uh, the teenagerhood right now? Even if uh, his uh, life is extended. It's like as if now he is in that moment of uh, teenagerhood or adolescence where the kids are starting not being kids anymore and he's confronting love at first sight or love something that he doesn't explain to himself that he can't explain. So we needed to see Fushi as if he is a mortal being but his lifespan is extending and that's why it seems to be eternal but it isn't so maybe in the fourth or the fifth season we will see Fushi really old and the fact that he will not be young forever so he will realize that death is approaching or maybe even the fact that he will not be able to walk as before anymore and what other and many other things or that he will feel at a certain point that he is feeling sick and he can't uh, do anything else rather than cure himself. So he will get in touch with the idea that he might die. Um, and see, there are steps for everything. And even uh, when we were so young, we couldn't even imagine uh, that we would have uh, died or something because we were saying, oh, come on, we are young. We have all our life in front of us, waiting for us. So we have lots of time. That's what Fushi believes, I guess, so that he has lots of time. So he doesn't even mind. Uh, that one day he might die. And that's why the creator doesn't want to spoil him anything because, okay, in our case, we know that we will die. But in his case, it's better not to reveal these important things. Try to imagine this. If the creator told him that he could revive all the bodies that he lost, of the people he lost, he wouldn't even suffer. He wouldn't even understand what does it feel to lose someone and to feel sad. So that was necessary, I guess. But at the same time, I understand the bone 
Because even if uh, he is uh, saying uh, as much as I was uh, saying in the previous episode that he wants to use a Fushi for his own purpose, I believe it, but at the same time I don't. Because I think that Bon really cares about Fushi, but he doesn't want to admit to himself that Fushi is becoming even more important than his goal. And that's a huge problem for Bon, because Bon built his existence, let's say, uh, for this, I mean, to become a king. But when uh, something more important is approaching him, the first thing first that he's doing is to not admit this, to say, no, come on, uh, my real purpose is to become the king. But I think that for Bon, this is something unusual, something that he has never experienced before, as much as Fushi is experiencing things that he has never experienced. And it's the first time for Bon, too, to get in touch with a person, I mean an entity in this case, who's not judging him, who's not laughing at him, who's not mocking him, who he can see, and other people can see him too, that he is going not to go away from him, that it's going to stay. And that's something unusual for him too. So even admitting to himself that he cares about Fushi more than his goal now, it's something crazy, something that it will never happen now. Something has to happen later that it's going to let him understand this and to admit this to himself. So I understand that Bon now uh, doesn't want to reveal this to Fushi, because if uh, he reveals this to Fushi, he already got the answer from Fushi that he's not important as much as all the people that he lost. So if there is the chance that he can revive March, Gu and all the others, but even the boy or even the dog, <laughs> he would have chosen them. Because now we understand the Fushi's final wish for the moment, that is, to die and to go back to all the others who couldn't make it. That's a great wish, that's a beautiful dream. But if something like this is happening, Bong is losing his friend. Even if he is not admitting still that Fushi is a great friend for him, but we already understood that he's a great friend in the moment in which uh, he doesn't want to reveal this to Fushi, otherwise he's going to lose him. So for the first time there is someone else who is afraid to lose a Fushi, and not the contrary, you know? Even when a Fushi was hearing, uh, uh, I don't want to die, he had that trauma in front of his eyes once again. And maybe thanks to that the trauma of not wanting to lose others, now he can revive people who die. Do you understand? But without experiencing this drama, he couldn't release this ability of reviving people. So everything is necessary. But I wonder when he will understand this, when he will realize that he can revive people. I have an idea, maybe when Bon is dying and he doesn't want to lose him, or as for what is happening now at the end of the episode when Kahaku is releasing his feelings and he's conveying the feelings to Fushi, because no matter if Fushi started being a man or a boy, it's an entity without genders, specific genders. I mean, he was living as a boy throughout the first part of his life, but what if now he is experiencing being a girl? Because the purpose of Fushi is to experience the most things so that he can, right? So if you experience the most, you are able to be more complete than before. So now that he can experience even what does it feel being a girl and understand the difference, he has even the possibility to experience the difference. Um, it's quite interesting because thanks to that, Fushi can become more complete than before and at the same time he is experiencing things from another perspective and now he's feeling more like March for example, when he's cuddling this doll and he's saying March would have loved this for sure. So he is getting in touch with another mentality that is a women's world, that it's totally different from men's world. And uh, this is quite interesting, definitely. But when it, 
Kahaku was confessing his love, I'm wondering, is a bomb feeling the same for Fushi? And he doesn't want to reveal this because it's still something unknown for him too. I mean, he felt love for that girl who was trying to make that handkerchief. But was that real love or was just a something like a love at first sight and all these things that are not uh, so intense as when uh, love uh, is uh, experienced day after day. I mean, when you feel love at first sight, it's uh, something that is happening in that moment and then you have to be strong enough to cultivate this love throughout the days. But when uh, you start appreciating a person and then you fall in love with a person and then there is this continuity, I think that that kind of love is more intense. So is it going to happen to Fushi? Is it going to happen to Bon? And maybe he's understanding by watching those two. I mean, Kahaku confessing his love to Fushi that he, Bon, also feels love for Fushi. I can't wait to see next episode. <laughs> it's becoming like a love con now. <laughs> but I, I really like this because we were used to see Fumetsu no Anata as uh, the season of depression, the season of sadness, pure sadness. I'm not saying that this sadness is not coming, but now we are checking a different aspect that was uh, not possible to be checked before. By the way, Bon can see the creator at this point, or he can sense it, because when he said, oh, the knockers are coming, at the beginning, I thought that he could sense the fact that they were coming because of his ability. But now we understand from what I understood, and tell me if I'm right or wrong, even if uh, when you will watch these videos, I will already record the entire season two, so it's pointless for you to tell me because I already discovered it later, that Bon uh, could see the creator. So not only he can see these... Uh, uh, people who died and they are already reaching this other dimension that other people can see but he can but he can also see the creator at this point if that's so that's why he could see the knockers or hear the, that the knockers were coming and that's why Fushi was asking him how do you know this how did you understand that they are coming I hope I just hope that um, Bon is not using uh, this uh, ability to see things or even uh, to understand what the creator is uh, saying to try to attract Fushi on his side uh, by letting him think that it's just his ability and not because he heard these things from the creator from the beginning. Do you understand what I mean? One thing is when you have an ability and you're honest with the Fushi and you say, look, I have this ability. So that's why I could understand that the knockers are coming, etc, etc. And one thing is to fake that you have this ability because you just have the ability to hear the creator that is saying that the knockers are coming. I really hope that Bon is not using a Fushi and that Fushi is not getting in touch with the Bon by thinking that he is a honest with him and then he is going to discover that he is not because he is going to perceive another kind of pain he is going to receive and to feel this pain that is unknown and this pain might come from uh, the way in which they are uh, creating this bond more and more of friends or lovers let's see what's going to happen but yeah I'm interested in seeing these uh, differences between the boys and girls and to see how the mangaka who is a girl actually <laughs> could create this exchange and could let the Fushi experience these last but not least Todo is a girl I thought that he was a man but he is not and Todo doesn't want to reveal Bon that she's a girl because maybe she's afraid to to receive a no and uh, to be friend zoned. <laughs> I mean, she was already friend zoned when uh, Bon said, Look, uh, you're not my type. But I think that at that time uh, he thought something like this because he was assured that he was a man. What if uh, we discovered that Bon uh, may fall in love with uh, Todo by knowing that she's a girl? Who knows? Is she going to reveal Bon that she's a girl or not? What will uh, Fushi's answers B. That's really interesting. We needed to know what Fushi is going to reply now to Kahaku because 
Uh, that's a something that might be unexpected. Maybe she's going to say, yes, I want her to be your wife, but to see how it is to be a wife, uh, but not because she really cares about Kahaku, see? Uh, there are lots of options. Um, but anyway, yes, love is not just the happiness and the butterflies in your stomach, but it's a pain too. So we needed to see these two things together. I really like Bon's character because every time he is really sensitive when he's approaching even Fushi when uh, he transformed into March because he didn't want to meet uh, uh, Anna's uh, father anymore or Anna in that condition. Uh, the way in which uh, he was uh, trying to understand Fushi, uh, that makes you understand that appearance is one thing. I mean, Bon is uh, so eclectic as much as I was uh, telling you, but he is hiding lots of uh, sensitivity and lots of a comprehension towards Fushi that I really hope that it's coming out directly in front of a Fushi so Fushi can understand that he can definitely trust Bon and even if now Bon is saying Fushi is mine, you creator and I are the same I don't think so I really believe that what I told you before so let's stay tuned and keep on watching I hope that he is not transforming into an evil character because Bon was supposed to be a great friend of a Fushi the one who could understand the Fushi for real this time so let's see what's going to happen but I really like this side of his personality that he's showing it to Fushi only and even if uh, it might seem that he doesn't care about others, like in the case of a Todo, because he's uh, thinking that it's a, that he's a chair, that she is a chair in this case, or when he was paying attention on materialistic things. No, in this episode, you see that Bond can recognize all these soldiers, even if they have this armor and you can't even see their faces, but Bond can realize who they are. And even when he was rescuing Thomas, when the knockers were attacking. You can see that he cares, but maybe he's hiding this personality because he is also afraid to lose others. And the way in which he is confronting others is to let them think that he doesn't care about anybody, that he pays more attention on materialistic things, so he can't be disappointed by others if he creates this sort of shield. But with the Fushi, it's different. Because Fushi didn't approach him and didn't judge him as the person as others were judging. Fushi is also saying, you are a nice person. But if I have to compare all that I experienced with the previous character who died and you, I choose them. Because I stayed, with, I spent time with them in a certain way and they let me understand that they care about me. So I think that Bon has to confront the Fushi too and to tell him that he really cares about him as a friend and he doesn't want to lose him. And that's why by being afraid of losing him, he's avoiding himself of telling him things. Because that's what Fushi is doing. I mean, he's afraid to experience because then he's afraid to lose these people. That's the same as Bon is doing. Oh, I really like this character because he will help Fushi more than what we see now. I hope that he's not going to die really soon. I really hope that he's going to spend more time with Fushi. Let's see what's going to happen next time with episode 6 of Fumetsu no Anatae to your eternity season 2. In the meantime, feel free to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell. Bye guys, see you in the next video.